Hey folks, here's your competition director for St. Patrick's Day 2020. The folks from Wadapalooza, we, get, we know Adam, third place <laughs> finisher. Great storyline, we all know that storyline, but the, one of the other bigger, bigger storylines of the weekend was Michelle, Christine, and myself took part in the gauntlet, and um, we were definitely inspired, and uh, I'm sure you saw some of the highlights, but we thought we'd bring the gauntlet back to LP, and so for St. Patrick's Day this year, we're gonna go through the gauntlet. So we're gonna take you through the flow, because it is a lot. If you want to get a reminder of it, it's pretty much an hour of work. And so each team is gonna go through this flow and we're gonna break it down by movement, uh, by station, and we're gonna give you a little bit of sneak peek of what you're gonna get into on Saturday. All right, so my athletes, Adam and Michelle DeJong, station one of the gauntlet starts at zero minutes. Three, two, one, 21, 15, nine, Hang power snatches, synchro at the top. Here we go. Nice. Paired with overhead squats. Synchro overhead squats, partners. Get that synchro. Meet at the bottom, meet at the top. Now in between each round, you're going to complete 100 double unders as a pair. Accumulating however you want to split it. One person, you can go 50-50, 70-25. There we go. Partner two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's okay. There we go. So once you hit 100 double unders, you're going to then go to 15, and then you're going to go to another set of double unders. You guys want to show again? No. <laughs> And then go to nine and then set a double unders. This is for RX. That is going to be from zero to 12 minutes. At the 12 minute time cap, you're gonna hit another four minute workout, station two, which is four minute AMRAP of thrusters. One person working at a time. So let's see a thruster. You can break these up as you want. You're just gonna accumulate as many reps as you guys can in four minutes. Good standards here. Breaking 90, lock out of the top. Little strategy here for the folks. Make sure you don't burn out because there's lots more work to do. So, clock rings 16 minutes. You're then going to get four minutes of rest. Take a break, get some water. Talk strategy, talk game plan, whatever you would like because you're gonna move to station three, wad three which as you can remember, was one of the highlights of Wadapalooza. We're gonna have you set up right in the turf here. You're gonna be going in uh, heats of three. So what we got here is an every minute on the minute, five burpee box jump over, partnered with double presses and assault bike. So we're gonna demo here. Partners are gonna go back and forth every minute on the minute. So buzzer rings, three, two, one, go. Adam's gonna perform five burpee box jump overs. We're gonna make him do two, that's fine. And the, after he's done that, he's gonna go and do devil presses. Now we all know this move from LP. For the guys, it's 50, for the girls, it's 35. He's gonna work as hard as he can for that minute. Good job, here comes three, two, one, minute two. Coach Michelle DeJong is gonna do five burby box jump overs. <laughs> And then she is gonna grab her weight, which will have him better placement next time. And she's gonna keep counting up those devil presses. And what we're trying to do is get to 36 total. 35. 36. The buzzer rings again. Burby box jump over. Remember, every minute on the minute, you're gonna to have to do these burby box jump over. You're paying debt every minute. But now that we have the devil presses done, we're gonna have a chance to go on the assault bike. The score for this event is your max calories on the bike. There we go. There we go. Next minute. Three, two, one, go. Michelle's gonna do again her debt. For we box jump over. And then she's gonna jump on the assault bike and continue counting those calories. Good work. The time cap for this workout is again 16 minutes. So you're gonna do that for 16 minutes. 
which means every single minute you're doing burpee box jump overs every single time, back and forth with a partner. Luckily, after the 16 minutes, you get a rest. The team gets the break. But yes, we have one more workout. You get another four, so you get a four minute rest. And then we're gonna turn to the racks. We're gonna do a wall ball slash total bar workout with a little extra spicy partner work in here. So we got it broken down to five rounds, 30 wall balls, and 15 toes to the bar. You guys can decide on how you wanna work that out. But while one partner is working, the other partner is gonna be holding a wall sit while partner A is doing wall balls. Three, two, one, wall ball. Partner A is doing wall balls. Partner B is sitting. You have to then get all 30 before moving to the next movement. Nice job. You guys can do any strategy you would like. There we go. Uh-oh. No wrap. They're switching off, taking a little break. Men will use the 20 pound wall ball. Ladies will be using 14, 29, 30. That's 30 wall balls. Next movement, toe to bar. Michelle's, or Adam's gonna jump up. Here we go. Oh, is that high? <laughs> yeah, boost the teammate. Here we go, there we go, there we go. All right, total bar. Who's doing total bar? One, two, so you have to accumulate 15. Split up as you would like. There we go, nice job. And yes, this is going to be five rounds. So it's gonna be a total of 150 wall balls and a total of 75 toes to bar. And yes, you get a 16 minute time cap on this, but luckily that is the finish of the gauntlet. After you reach that 150 and 75 repetitions, you are done. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated. Green beer if you would like. That is how the gauntlet runs. Super excited, guys. Can't wait to see you suffer in the gauntlet, cave. <laughs> Maybe we should turn up the heat. Yeah, let's yes. turn up the heat, make it my yes. own <laughs> All right.